Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Finally, I got the time to do a city tours for you. So I'm gonna walk through with you to show you what um, kind of citrus that I have. I got uh, quite a few uh, different variety, and I grow most of them in the containers. Few they are in the ground, so I'm gonna walk through with you. But first, let uh, I hold the box here, by the way. I go. I'm going to have it the rest of the queens today. So I'm gonna bring you along with me, and maybe we checking out some of the mandarins as well. They might be uh, ready uh, because the variety I have. If I leave them too long, and they will get dry. So let's go to my the other corner of my front yard, and we're gonna have it uh, some queens or the rest of them because. Um, yeah, I think that last time we have it, um, I don't know, three weeks ago? I think so. Mm, yeah, so anyway, anyway, let's come over there and check them out. There's the tree, you can see that. A few foot left still, you know, in the netting back there. So I, I'm going to have it on them and bring them closer over here and you can have a look. Here they are, they're looking wonderful. Some of them, they are on the top here, they are very big. Look at that, they are just huge. Some underneath here, they're not as big. But you know, when I came a little bit closer to the tree, I have a look and most of the food, they already dropped in the net actually. Yeah, and some, they were, uh, were still hanging on the tree or on branches. And I just touched a little bit and they all drop off dress away in my hand all right um so uh, let me tell you a story what do we do with our queens that time we pick them so if you look on the internet there's a lot of recipes what would you do with your queen's food so here what we did this was our very first time actually so my husband he peels the skin of the foot and then we, he cut into very big chunks pieces I mean, very big pieces and we got rid of the cord in the center uh, we didn't use them and then how uh, we put uh, the foot example he used two foot each time uh, he um, he put the foot in the pot a little pot and then uh, he add around uh, two cup of water uh, and then he add four tablespoon of the sugar. So uh, like one cup of su uh, of water equally with two tablespoon of water uh, of sugar. So uh, yeah, he just boiling them down, boiling them down. Uh, I think around uh, over one hour until the queens were soft. And then he took the queens out. And then after that, he boiling the liquid on its own down more, down more, and until the you know the the texture or the texture of the liquid cut a little bit, they thicken a little bit. And then yeah, and then we um, we turn the heat off, and we just pour that liquid into you know the bowl that where. Uh, he already took the food uh, out from the pot and then we just eat them together like that you know after dinner and it was delicious it was delightful and light and not heavy dessert at all so the and he ate with the cream that he you know he, he or the custard that he made and I prefer only at the only at the queens on its own. Actually, I don't want to add any custard in there. So the second time when I try to cook by myself, and I, I did the same thing. Like he did peel the skin, add exactly the amount of water and the sugar, but I add two cinnamon stick in the pot to stew together. Now I I think I add too much of cinnamon in there I would have put only one cinnamon stick that could be enough but I add two and after that the flavor of the uh, cinnamon will I overpower uh, to the queen's of new fragrance and flavor and it was still nice but I would be for maybe only put uh, only one cinnamon stick or not at all I just be for the pure taste of the queen's fragrance and flavor 
anyway so what <laughs> that's what we do with the queens that time uh we have it um so this time um i still want to do it to the queens again but we'll see if my husband think uh, thinking of the other recipe he might want to try maybe some kind of cake or you know some kind of liquid or jam that uh if he have energy and he he will make um you know make the uh, make the them into so uh let's go out the other side my yeah i'm gonna show you a whole range of the seashell trees that i got so the front little garden bed over here i got two mandarin trees that i planted them i think well four years now uh they were tiny little plants that i ordered from daily food tree i planted them in the first i think two years they got a lot of frost burn every winter but last winter we uh they they work you know very good actually or maybe the tree got bigger and maybe they got you know a uh, better fort uh, tolerance and I could see that this year the tree have a lot of food, especially the trees. Yeah, it's just laden with the food. Not much in the front here, but the, in the back there, it's just dancing down. There's so many food there. And a lot of them, they turn to very delightful orange color. So I'm going to have it, some of them. Look at it and some of them this side as well and see the color. Very, very delightful. Look at that. Yeah, anyway, this is the Dimension City Japanese variety. So I will put the name on the screen so you can have a look. So Mandarin in our area a little bit, you know, tricky. You have to find the, uh, the, um, the what is it, the variety, you know, doing well in your area. And you have to find the variety that ripen before the frost arrive. Because I just have uh, one of the Mandarin that I plant, I mean, in the backyard actually a few years ago at the end i have to dig that one out because every winter it have a force you know to damage all the food and i was devastated i decided to dig that one out i think last winter or the winter before that actually yeah this tree though uh i mean it's the same variety but this one i think it got a lot uh shade a lot by the rose in the front so the um the food haven't really ripened at the other trees i mean they, they're getting there but not at orange you know nice the other food so yeah as these uh, trees i mean the food i won't have it any today i think um yeah maybe i take it away for a few more days but i'm going to have it some from that tree because this variety if you leave the fruit too long on the tree then they will dry out so yeah so that's the um yeah a little bit tricky to go see variety i got another variety of the other tree i got uh, also uh, got from banding uh, that uh, maybe last year yeah i bought it last year and this year already fruit so i'm so excited to show you that little tree And look at those. Let me let me open one to see and to test. Because I tried this last year. Oh, I tried this variety together with you. I think maybe two years ago. Let's try the little one. How about try the little one? Oh, look at that. So juicy. Wow. You know, uh, I don't know. A few weeks ago, we bought a bag of mandarin from supermarket. It wasn't nice at all and it was expensive eight dollar one kilo mm. very good i highly recommend it for energy wow yummy now if it, it's it's not a like super super sweet 
than a lot of the, the type that I tried before, like in Vietnam. But certainly it's sweet and very, you know, very full of flavor of mandarin. And it doesn't seem to have a seed, you know. It's sweetness, have no seed actually. Yeah, look at that, and very juicy. You just have to pick it the right time. And you see when the skin is shiny like this, and all the way around, no green, that means it's ripened. Yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm so delightful, I'm so excited about all these mandarin, homegrown mandarins. I have a, never had this much of mandarins, and plus a lot of the food still on the tree. Look at that. Yeah, I'm so, so grateful about that, actually. And on this side, I got a lot of potted citrus. So first, let's look at the pomelos trees over here. I repotted this plant, I think, last year. And this year, it's doing really, really well. It got a lot of the fruit, and the fruits are huge. I mean, not super huge. I mean, much bigger than the other years that I got before. So I'm so thrilled about that. Yeah, certainly the large container helped it a lot. Yeah, I have quite a lot of food. I, I think last year I did not thin much of the food off, but this year I did more diligently. So I thin quite a lot of the food off. And this year, how many I have left here? One, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, um, thirteen, fourteen, and maybe one on this side. Fourteen, and uh, here, here. 15, I think 15, yeah, I think 15 foot or one little tree. I could have it thin them up a little bit more on the top here because you can see that a lot of them own together. But I saw that all the foot, they, they own equally big. So I, I didn't have hard to take one of those off or two off. Anyway, they are, they are, I think they can be delicious in a way, even they are small. Right, Um. so this is the uh, flick yellow pomelos. Um, this one is Washington Naval Orange. I ordered this one and this one from Daily Food Tree last year. Uh, so far they haven't, you know, uh, haven't produced any food for me, but that's okay. The tree is still small. This one though, this one haven't sent out much of branch uh, for me to compare like this one. Yeah, you can see that this one has quite, you know, quite a few branches and growing on the side there. Why the other one? Yeah, I I haven't seen any big branches standing down from the main trunk there. Anyway, uh, this one, the three are the main, I think this is the orange that my friend, she gave me, uh, or I went to her play and I dug it up. Um, I just move this tree recently here because the cold temperature. So I just move here kind of more closer to the house and the group together, you know, group, uh, I put together with other tree as well. So hope, hopefully the, the, um, the tree can feel a little bit warmer. Yeah, anyway, um, I, by the way, I don't know about the variety of this because I thought it was a naval Washington orange, um, but actually the naval Washington Norwegian, they often have a, you know, the, the, you know, their bottom or their end here, it very distinguished to a lot of the other uh, Mandarin or the orange type. So is this one definitely not a uh, uh, Washington Naval Orange. And this one is Taroko Plutch Orange. I put the name on the screen again because my pronunciation. So this year I thought that I wouldn't have a that many foot, but I did count the other day. I have quite, you know, quite few foot here. I think over ten foot on this tree. So so far, the you know the one side of the branch here, I haven't seen any foot of flower that producing. And I have been thinking, oh maybe it be that uh, that is the rootstock, uh, because when I got the tree, and after a while, it's have a little 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 branch uh, sprouting very close to the. The, to the original one when I bought it and after that I keep going on this side and I, I think a few months ago Nils he came over uh, he very good gardener he came to help me to grab several trees as well and he said no this is the 
the the boy is that I want to. So is this one in he said in not the Woodstock. So anyway, hopefully, um, hopefully that is the case. So I won't have to chop that may uh, that big chunk off, you know. All right, let's come over here. So if you watch a video lately, you already saw I got a little pomelo here. My friend, she helped me to glue this one, you know, or help me to air layer it. And after that, now I got another pomelo, uh, flick yellow pomelo. And this is the um, Japanese mandarin. This one I got from Bunning. Uh, years ago, together with another blood orange, I will come over there and show you. And this year, it already produced a fruit for me. And it looking at this, I thinking it. Do you think it could? It, it look the same, nice variety that I just harvested. Do you think so? But this one, the leaves look smaller, look different than the one I sh I show you before. Let's come over there and look. So you can see the leaf here, like tie together let's come over here to see um this one look different though tie together this one yes the leaf more relaxing it's different right okay but because you know at the, the top of the foot they look a little bit similar so maybe yeah anyway okay it might be different then all right so this one i got in bunning it just says it's japanese uh mandarin so so what I know, I'm sorry, it can be more specific. And this is the kumquat tree. I I planted this, this one last year as well. And this year already produced a fruit. Look at that. We've been, you know, using them quite a lot actually. Whenever I make the sauce, you know, in Vietnamese cooking, we use a lot of fish sauce. And when we use the fish sauce, we use a lot of lemon or some kind of citrus to flavoring it. Uh, and and yeah, this comfort is just so delightful and very easy to use actually. I find I find it much easier than lemon. Because lemon when you you use just a little piece, you have to cut the whole lemon out, you know. But this little comfort here is very easy to use. And my so what is it? Red Center lamb. This year I don't understand it haven't uh put you much of the food this year. Uh here only few though. But my year we haven't have used much of the of the food. Last year I got so many at the end they just drop, drop, drop. I pick even I pick I put them in the fish, but we haven't had much of you with them unless when we make salad or when we drink gin and tonic, you know. But uh, me and my husband we not um you know I mean we like to drink them time to time but they're quite expensive you know but also we we don't want to drink too much of those we want to drink other things too uh and here more a few more food heads wow yeah I got few broken branches on the top I don't know what what did we do maybe the other day my husband he tried to to get the cat were hiding in here so maybe the, his body a little bit bent down a little bit and broke the branches off here this one though here here too i need to cut them off too right and this branch on the top here here maybe that's what he did anyway i got another taroka blood orange over trees over here growing container is in this container though um for three years i really need to report it so maybe I do together with you. I already bought the large plastic container from Bunnings. And in here, I got quite a lot of food. A lot of the food than last year. Yeah, anyway, um, a lot of the food, but they quite small, but I think I should have seen it now. But that's okay, I don't mind when they are small. And I just need to report it because I think it go out of the container now for two years and the tree is big. Uh, I think the tree was one and a half meter width <laughs> and uh, one and a half meter tall as well. Yeah. Anyway, over here I got very created kumquat and again kumquat um, uh, very useful, you know, better than the finger lamb or the West Central lamb I got actually. Yeah, we use a lot of this to make, um, you know, make sauce. And um, in the first few years when I got it, I planted in the little fun uh, garden, like together with the mandarin trees that I showed you right at the beginning. This variety is very prone to the frost and after that, 
uh, they got a lot of die back and burnt uh, every winter. I think it, second, two winter is stay in that con that position actually. After that, I decide to dig it out, put it in container, and last winter it stays in the container, doing okay. But this year I have quite a few food on, especially this one. You can see this one ripening now, and this one greener. Yeah. Uh, I love the color though, it's so beautiful and it kind of like, try to adapt to stay in this uh, area kind of narrow and tall but not going wide because the, the tree is to it, you know so sometimes the tree just have to adapt it go more narrow and tall, it's funny yeah, a lot of little foot here though I don't think it can make it before the, you know, before the frost and more flowering here few foot here and I don't know it, it, if it will survive to the frost or not. But anyway, I'm sure there can be a few more in here. Yeah, a few more in there. Oh, look at that, quite a bit in here. Oh, by the way, let me give you the update about our curry leaf tree. Look at that, amazing. And here, look at that, it produced some flower. And maybe we can have some seed in the future. Yeah, it's looking amazing, you know, curry leaf. Um, normally they're quite tricky to grow in our area because of the cold and the frost in let the warm temperature. Uh, and so that's why I go in the container and also if you, uh, if you, you, you're living in the warm uh, climate, this one can get big, you know, because my father-in-law, he did have this tree once for quite a long time. And uh, after that, they decided to chop this one down because it grew so big. <laughs> And my husband, he used a lot of these leaves to flavoring the dishes. And uh, yeah, I'm so, so thrilled about this. And I thought that last year, I, or the year before that, I would lose this because this one grew in my backyard and it stayed the whole winter back there and it's got a lot of die back. I'm so, so thrilled with this. Look at that. And over here, I got, um, uh, what do I have? Oh, by the way, my lemongrass. Look at this. So, so at the I think at the time that like when I start doing you know YouTube channel, I I made a video how I grow lemongrass from the store bought, and it grew. How I planted them uh, in the garden, um, you know near to the mandarin tree that I show you. And after that, last year I dug the whole bush out. I refreshed, refreshed the bushes, and I kept some the young one. And I I got them in the container like this. I think I got another container in my backyard too. But anyway, I do need to repot it. And because when they are in the container like this, it's easier for you. You know when you want to harvest, and you can um, easy to what is it to um, juvenile it as well. Uh, yeah, anyway, because the bush over there, be, uh, in that area, by the way, it's next to the mandarin. So sometimes it will be a little bit hard for me to walk over and then to, you know, to get the lemongrass. Uh, over here, I got um, Tangelo to quite large container. Look at this. Then there are a lot of the fruit on every year. Uh, this tree, I did not seen the foot much so the foot much larger and this one I only just cut some of the foot of uh, lately so the foot still quite uh, you know quite medium size not at large like this one I'm sorry about the noise my neighbor he I think he mowing a lot a lot of foot like you um, yeah anyway very excited about them this one they arriving much later than the mandarin so I think another month at least all right um over here oh let me show you i got a tree here this one lemon i think maybe okra lemon or some kind of lemon but this one a little branch that i i try to grow this one from this tree where when oh well two years ago a lady she gave me this tree i cut that branch it off and that branch have a tiny little root on but that one root out and yeah, and now I got another tree and now he came over and helped me to grab two branches of the lamb on top of this tree. So now I got lemon and lamb in the same tree. So this is one of the grafts here. They already took off, beautiful. And I got another one down here. This one, look at that. Yeah, doing well. And yeah, I got a little foot on. I'm not sure this one going grow into uh, you know to bigger foot or not or can be frosted by you know by the frost yeah, maybe next month or so 
fight, but very happy with it actually. But I got a little branch, branch quite long over here. I might just cut it off. All right, over here I got this is the different type of the blood orange, and this one I got from Bunning. This one Arnold, and it have very deep. Uh, what is it? Deep in the center when you got the you know the right condition for it so someone over here told me that the black orange will change the you know the food will change the color when we got cold temperature but actually we do have quite cold temperature like most of the winter is um it's you know the temperature go down well minus four minus five sometimes minus seven there as well so we do have a cold temperature actually and i do have a two food so this one this is the food look at that too amazing! I just got it last year, and then another food down here. This one maybe not as good. I don't know what happened to this one, but the other food doing well. And the same, the mandarin, a uh, Japanese mandarin, I got, you know, the same time from Bundings, and both of them cooked really, really well. Uh, yeah, to consider the first year. All right, I got um, yeah, this is a lemon tree. That's. Um, what is it the lady she gave me? I told you and I rescue it when the time is worth, you know, very really sad looking and doing beautiful now at the moment. Oh, this is the um, cardamom. Is it cardamom? Yes, it got very, very strong flavor. You know, the herbs uh, we can use. For example, down here, we can use uh, some kind of rhizome here to flavor. I haven't cooked this one though. This one, uh, my husband work met he he moved and then he got a lot of this as well and then he he gave away. So anyway, I I asked him to give me one uh, little plant and yeah, and now it's going beautiful actually. I just sent him the picture and he could be very thrilled to see how big his hair grow. All right, over here I got the um, finger. What is it? Uh, what is it? I got this one. I forgot the name. Oh, I put the name on the screen, but they got the fruit and this one we, oh my husband, he used in curry too and he had beautiful flavor. Oh, coffee and arm. Yes, this is coffee and arm. Yeah, it have a lovely, lovely leaves flavor to, you know, to put in the curry or some kind of Thai dish. All right, so that is for my fun yard. Uh, let's go to my backyard. I show you some other citrus that I got. All right, I'm in my backyard now. So we look for some cedar trees over here. I you already see the video about the garden beds and the, my veggies not long ago. So let me come over there and show you. I got one little Maya lemons, and they have quite a lot of food actually. But you know this little tree, uh, when we move in this property, it was like a stick, uh, just like the side of the chopstick actually. It will a tiny little stick after that I planted in this area and then now after a few here looking really good even though it got some yellowing leaf here uh, maybe it like a little bit nutrient but also maybe root competition with other bushes over here this last year it's doing much better oh, I mean that I could see the leaves they look a more uh, lush and I think maybe this year the root competition from other tree because next to that I got humongous uh, dahlia bush there and I got some other under the plant underneath around there as well all over the place oh by the way this is one of the taro bush that I did not have harvest last year so I just left it here and it survived in the winter and another bush another plant here so I'm going to dig those out to see like even after two years if I got any you know any good side of the tuber that I can use so if you watch the video last year that I have it my tuber or my my taro and they were too young at that time but they only started forming the tuba so i couldn't have any so we'll see this year if i got the tuba or not right over here so this is my lemons a lot of the foot on actually this variety i think is very easy to grow and then if you buy the drop variety they will foot really quickly and some you know uh you when you go to the nursery or go to you know hardware store they already have you know food on them so you know that they will you know give you the food the year after that too you know, someone mowing the lawn it's still noisy i'm sorry about that all right the garden red uh, for my mom is still looking looking good 
messy though. Over here, I got oh look. Let's show you this. This one. Oh look at that. This one heaven on earth. Look at that. The bloom just so full, so heavy though. Just dangling down like this. Mmm, the scent is just beautiful. Look at that, all three of them. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, let's come over here. I want to show you. Oh, by the way, it's a garden bed over here. Uh, me and my friend, we habited them. I did not film the video about that though, because I did put up two videos uh, last year and the year before. I just thought that maybe this year I will skip of, you know, posting habiting Yakong. Uh, maybe you, some of you might get sick of it as well. But anyway, I put the link in the description below. So if you're new to my channel, uh, that I, uh, the link there. So if you like to check it out. All right, the garden bed over here. It's empty. I empty. Uh, it's empty at the moment. But I emptied this compost bin yesterday. I threw quite a lot of compost in there. So I'm going to plant blueberry in this con in this garden bed very soon. So may you might want you know to watch that video. Uh, over here, I you know I do need to, to you know to bring the compost here to fill up the garden bed and maybe plant some seedling as well. You know some kales or some other veggies that I want to grow during the winter. And the garden other than over here in this corner, I got. Uh, one double grafted lemons. So we got two varieties in here. Oh, I don't remember now actually. I I did post a video when I plant the tree actually. One side is ukwa lemon, the other side is something else. Suddenly I forgot. But anyway, this year doing much better than the other years because uh, I don't know, maybe it takes a few years for it to establish. But also last year it's got Fox burn a lot, so I'm going to um, to bring one of the structure I got. You know the one guy white like that. Maybe I have to do it by myself, right? Or I have to make my uh, one the new one by myself because um yeah this this one is much toner than the white structure there, right? So if I even bring that structure there, it got not gonna work for this. Right, I have to think think of something else. Yeah, but this tree really doing really well. I'm so so happy about this. Yeah, I I planted this tree I think two years ago, and this tree yeah have a, a lot of potential put put doing so the lemon this year. Look at that over here. I got what do I have in here? I got some ruby grapefruit. This tree uh, I didn't buy it, and me and my husband went out uh, because a lady she was giving this tree away, and I went to her place. Or me and my husband dig it out or dug it up and then brought home, planted in this area. But the trunk of the tree, uh, I noticed that this year they got more, you know, the back just tearing off, tearing off more. I didn't know why when we we came to dug the tree, but also the back of the tree is full of oil. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. And after that, maybe after a few years now, the back just kind of decay and falling off. I, we don't have a possum in our area. We feel very lucky, but the the bugs, I don't know how long the tree can live, you know. My husband, he downloads the web food, so I might just buy another tree. Maybe in the future, this one die, I can just replace it, you know. Because it takes a few years for them to bury the food and to get established. Oh, look at that, a lot of food. Lot of food this year. Wow, a lot of food. I'm so so pleased with that, you know. We having a lot of food. We got queens, we got persimmon, we got uh, apples, and we got what is it here? Um, a pejoa. So we've been eating a lot of them. And today, uh, I have it. Uh, what is it? Mandarin. Yeah, full of food. <laughs> Lately, we haven't buy much of food from the shop at all. Yeah, honey. So that is for the video today. I hope that you all enjoy it. I think this video could be long actually. It could be a long one. I'm sorry about that. But uh, anyway, anyway uh, only a few flowers left in my garden. Let me show you. See the daily over here. Still looking beautiful. But a lot of them, they kept fading all over there already. Anyway, I just enjoying as long as I can. And until next year. 
and we tweak some we're going to have rain today and tomorrow as well you can see the very dark uh, sky above me over there uh, i think it will rain more like in the evening though yeah anyway thank you again and i hope that you enjoyed this video bye bye